Hello and what is up guys, Vito here back at it again with another video, you feel me? We out here in New York for the second time in a row. And yeah, you know, I've, I'm, I live in Philly, so I'm always shooting in Philly. This is why I decided to, you know, travel to New York, actually my birthplace. And yeah, today you guys are gonna come along with me. We're gonna be shooting on 35 mil Canon AE-1 and my 120, you know, my Mamiya RB67 Pro. And I'm also meeting up with a model later today as well. But yeah, today's gonna be pretty exciting. And you guys are gonna come with me on this journey. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the photos. All right, oh, my fault, it's a 75 to 200. So we're gonna basically switch the 50 mil out to the 70 to 200 lens, which is basically a super zoom lens. Damn, I kind of wanted to get both the trains. So yeah, I just put the 75 to 200 lens on the Canon AE-1, so we're gonna capture it. And you can kind of show them too real quick if you can. I know it's kind of far, but eight. I'm gonna zoom all the way in. I'm gonna try to get it. Right. One, two, three. Yeah, let this car go by. All right, one, two, three. Fire. I'm a huge fan on graffiti, so definitely was gonna take photos of this wall here. Look at this car. Broken glass everywhere. People out of pocket. All right, yeah. So I was driving. I'm about to head to the next location. Came across this beat up car that has writing all over it. So we're actually gonna go shoot that. We're actually gonna get out the car and actually go shoot that real quick. So yeah, we're about to, we're basically about to shoot this car over there. If you guys can even see it from that far, it says part. This is a part for sale, 1966. And you know, I got the 75 to 200, so I'm just gonna stand right here and try to shoot it. I, wait, aperture 11, but we're gonna stay at eight. All right. All right I'm gonna count to three. One, two, three. All right, y'all, we in Dumbo, Brooklyn, or Brooklyn Dumbo, or however you wanna call it, y'all know where we at, we in Dumbo. Um, for some reason, I kinda like this building right here. So we're gonna get, once again, I'm shooting on the Ken AE-1 for this, but we're gonna shoot this structure. I like this architecture of this building, so we're gonna shoot that. Right, one, two, three. I'm trying to get somebody walking. All right, I'm gonna get somebody. All right, one, two, three. Emily, right here. We out here. And yeah, very first time shooting with her. And you already know these photos, but I don't wanna be ungrateful and just hype myself up, but these photos are gonna come out pretty pretty dope, all right? So, but yeah, let's just get started. So I like how you are, but so like, still do what you're doing, but like, kinda like look at your feet. Like yeah, but look down, yeah, yeah, yeah. But look down, yeah.
All right, so yeah, we just finished one roll. So now we're gonna do portrait 800 now. First roll is portrait 400. One, two, three. That's good. That's perfect. I'm gonna count to three. One, two, three. Count to three. One, two, three. Man, if only I was tall enough. All right, look in the cam. Yes, perfect. Put your head a little bit down. <laughs> All right, actually put it a little bit up. More. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna count to three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yep. We're one, two, three. But. All right, one, two, three. I, I guess we could probably do something like you chilling on the rocks or something. Yeah, George, George married that. Yeah. Okay, I'm talking right Like, all right, for example, like, all right, you see what that, you see what that wood is? Mm -hmm. Say if you like, well, damn, not the wood, because that shit, I don't know, that shit don't look safe. But like somewhere on on the rocks, not the wood, not the plank, John. And I'm yeah. All right, come on, let's go. All right. Watch out, people! A lot of people. All right, yeah. Uh, well, now like you you were bending down. Huh? You you were like like this. You was like this. Yeah. Oh shit! Almost fell. Yeah, stay like that. I actually get it from here. Look at it. All right, yeah, this thing. You know, then why you asking me? Why you asking me? Like, she know, like, yo. <laughs> Hello and what is up guys? So yeah, the real reason behind me shooting film. Before we get into that, first off, shout out to Emily. Very first time, once again, ever actually meeting 
her in person. I had followed her on Instagram, loved her style, and basically asked if she was down to actually shoot photos. She was down and we made plans to link up in New York to shoot these wonderful photos that you have seen today and one thing you know i just loved about the overall fit dealt with her shirt it definitely much so just complemented the overall environment that we were actually in and especially one of my favorite shots had to have been when she, we were basically near the water that had to have been like out of all the shots that had to have been my favorite shots dealing with the photos that was taken that day the place that we were at for those of you who do not know new york very well was the iconic tourist public space you can possibly be in when you go into New York is Dumbo. And there's a little park, well, it's not even little, there's a huge park. Definitely just spent our time there just shooting these wonderful photos. But yeah, once again, thank you, thank you, thank you to Emily. The, her link to her Instagram will be in the description below as I always do dealing with all the models that I work with and especially when it comes to yeah like videos that i'm putting on my channel i always want to give them credit you know and not only just me posting them on instagram and you know tagging them if they go on my channel definitely link to their instagram will be below the description dealing with the video back to the reasoning of me actually shooting film so we're going to take it back four years ago canon ae1 and you know this whole story i've never actually did a whole video based on that topic and i've actually talked about it here and there throughout the videos that i actually put out on my channel but never really told the full story you feel me so so this video to me is very important to actually tell you guys so but yeah four years ago i basically bought my first film camera the canon ae1 35 mil actually got a video on the camera itself i will actually link that video in the description below as well but yeah four years ago shot on there basically i shot on one roll and i basically didn't get it developed till like probably like a year later so three years ago now and i took my first look at my first developed photos dealing with film as soon as I got it back you know like three years ago now but I take a look at the photos and a huge majority of them are bad I just picked like maybe like one or two that was actually pretty good and they were of my friend and yeah the bad ones were basically underexposed blurry overexposed like it was just so much air and i kind of knew it was my first time so i kind of knew that it was going to be that like there was going to be some shots that were just bad but you know nonetheless i still decided to just take the camera and put it on my shelf and was just like i'm gonna stick to my nikon d7100 and for real for real, it's not till early 2020 during the pandemic and if you have lost someone during these crazy times my condolences definitely go out to you but yeah during that time I just felt like it was just like a learning type of experience a learning type of year for me as an artist and I decided to just take the initiative to just be like you know what let me pick up the film camera let me go on YouTube and do my research. Let me get my knowledge up on how to, you know, shoot photos. And it's, and it's like some of the people that actually inspired me to actually, you know, shoot more, more and get into more film type of work dealt with like people like Linus and his camera, Valandas, Joe Greer, who else? Photo Dre, which I actually follow him. I actually follow all these people on Instagram but they kind of helped me get my knowledge up on like what certain film stocks I should be using, what cameras I should be using. And all throughout that year, not only me purchasing cameras, but also purchasing film books at that, you know, film books especially. One thing I like about me is I just don't like to just stay in the crib and just not do anything. If it's the weather's bad or if there's like a lockdown going on, I always have to be doing something. And that's what I love about my my mind you know my creative mind i just have to be doing something and especially when it's on my days off you know i always like to go out and actually shoot 
do some personal project you know when i'm actually off and yeah 2020 was just a learning experience for me for sure i just definitely just decided to you know what i'm just gonna go for it even though i was just like i wasn't really good at it you know but here i am today work personal work basically deals with me just shooting film the only time i actually pick up my digital camera deals with clientele work for the most part or for sure for sure dealing with any type of concert work and i i love shooting concerts you know and that is always a digital photography thing for me when it comes to photography i always love to actually just pick up my digital camera to shoot concerts but once again shout out to emily and thank you guys as well for just coming on here and just tuning into this video my light about to die but yeah, this is Vito signing off i'm gonna catch you guys later <laughs>